welcome back to Control. Uh, so the reason why I didn't stream this last week is because it was my birthday weekend. And my... Saturday, I had a D&D game. And Sunday, I was planning on playing it. But I went to a restaurant, got drunk. So it was like, nah. Nah. Sunday was my birthday. Fuck it. We ball tonight. I also have food with me, so find the prime candidate program. It'll be in here, right? I really need it. That's something I want. You keep saying things. I'm sure someone will listen to you eventually. I feel like it would be great for group, or at least damaging groups. Not necessarily. Kill. It doesn't have a lot of kill. It doesn't have a lot of hit power, but it has a lot of like. Oh. Man, yeah, move. You were fine. I could have just erased him from existence. Your means nothing to me. I have something better. Called a sniper rifle. <laughs> I only have to hit you once, Dex Nerd. Did I Hit you. Hit. Ow. Hello, name. Here, do me a favor and go shoot your friends. Right as he rounded that corner. I hate the ones with the missile. Of course, I guess if it was easy, then they wouldn't have missile. There would eat up all the life. Ah. Uh. I forgot that that was my dad. I'm going to DS.
still on my you're not dead yet? Damn. No, you don't. I can pull concrete off of the floor. You mean nothing to me, sir. Neither do you. He did it better that time. You need to be up. I do have six axes. Hello. You didn't see me murder that man. Nobody did. Is a mystery. Self reflect. <laughs> no, I'm here. To find new prime candidates, the Bureau needs a director. Yes. Our future. P6 and P7. What's it? Yeah. Pretty sure this is about to say that I was also in the prime candidate. I was separated. <laughs> After North Moore stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family, my daughter and my wife. Huh. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter. But they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the Prime Candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice.
Alrighty then. Cool. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh, hi. Please. Hello. Actually, hey, you want your health. If you could, if you don't mind, and don't kill me. See what that was. I forgot I have levitate. <laughs> really? I that's annoying. Well, I mean, it's not really all that far, but still. Better not get blamed for this mess. Come on. Um, on. I don't want to wait for your animation. I want to get back to where I was today. One more people here, please. I would much prefer if you did not. You are. You hate me. Why are you not being damaged? Fuck off. Oh, I can catch those. I was about to say that should do it. <laughs> God, those missiles take out so much. Might have been two of them. Why you thought? I mean, I guess it worked a ton of times before, so. dealing with those. Really? You lot fuck off.
Holy fuck. Now that's how you use Serve and eat. Sorry. Holy shit, shut up. Mail delivery. Speak your joke. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. No, it won't. Projector will. So much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. Close eight. Yo, this isn't freaky at all. Sure. Let's Jesus. Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no so who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> oh. Is that what the Prime Candidacy Program is about? That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Oh no. Is that the the other department I saw earlier? I have a feeling Meg is based on a real person. Right fall. Ooh, Alan Wake stuff. Excuse me. The 
Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Yeah, would you believe that they've been... Oh, outfit. Hell yes. Yeah, do you honestly think the Bureau would not know? We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time... I remember was... Different. We found a way in. Deeper into it, like... It had... Shifted. We went inside and... That's where we found the spy projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. <laughs> Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? <clears throat> inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... I feel like I'm missing something to do with this out here because this is still weird and I feel like there's a control point somewhere that I am fucking missing. Is there a control point here that I don't know about? There's a shelter. A bunch of corpses. Knock knock I'm coming in. Open. Ease accelerator. I love the physics in this game. I still feel like I'm missing something. Is there a control point here that I'm missing? Whoa, whoa. <clears throat> well, boo hoo to you too. Because typically, <clears throat> they're right at the entrance of newly discovered location. But where's this one? And what's over here? Because this one should have one, right? I'm not crazy for thinking that. Unless it's just really not wanting me to see them. E6. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. 
The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to the Bureau. Any Bureau. Every Bureau. Sometimes when they can step in and do something, they won't. They'll watch you. Learn from you. Nice. I studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. This is the wrong one. Whoops. No. you didn't need to exist. Holy shit. Hey, since you're here and you're so graciously, you know, offering your services to me. I'm getting it. I'm getting late game stuff now. There's my control point. This straight up looked like you got sniped, my man. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they have a limited run time, so. Before I hit that button. Yes, there is. Buenos dias. Man, if only this could pierce other things. It can pierce normal walls, but it can't pierce the special walls. I guess that makes sense. Boy, am I glad I stepped back. Sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Well, one was more like a safari. He's all this, the house and being the director. Holy fuck, I can just rip you guys out of that? You know how great that is? I think I upgraded that and mentioned it purposely and then just completely forgot about it. New York Wait, hang on. Oh. <laughs> You just have subway access here. Going back home. Of course we are. It started there and it's never gone away. Ordinary altered world event. I like how they have a specific one for the ordinary altered world event.
Thanks, Gray. A way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Ferris. Holy shit. This is probably where I need to go, right? Well, let's go in here first. Not like there's a hideous... Amorphous blob trying to murder me. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Does it look like a control panel? Do I have to go this way? So, let me get this straight. You're telling me that the oldest house just sort of... What in God's name? Ah! Dare stay where I put that sucks. <laughs> well, at least I'm here. And it easy, could you? Away. Oh, I hate this thing. Oh, I see you. You gotta show you. Whoa. Oh, it's dead. Good. God. I thought I was dead. Like, I'm not even joking. I thought I was... Fuck. Hey. Let's see. I wonder where that goes.
I don't believe I'm done. Yet. There's more, but I need to. Where am I? Was it two? Or is there more? It isn't saying there's more, but then again, it can do nothing. So, assuming that there is more. Oh, okay. I have to go up. Where was it? There. Nice. Search for the side. Hi. Thank you. Get stun lock, bitch. I can just sort of jam this stuff into me and it makes my and it makes me better like that's all I'm doing with a lot of keep out fuck you I lived here and Jesse did I'm just a spectator hi <laughs> and was doing his job Is that noise? There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds what's the cause and what's the effect are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this a byproduct a reflection a projection we'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying you know i don't like the whole die trying part you know, if we can avoid that specifically, you know, that would be best. Preferable. Your 
listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Okay, good to know. Also, what demon is masturbating and interrupting my show? You two fuckers. What? You didn't need your skull intact anyway. Overrated, I see. Oh, I see you. Thought I did. So it wasn't them. Wait, can I? I need a corrupted. We're going to make this. Yeah. Oh, and I can just make jukebox tokens? That's pretty neat, actually. Okay, where currently are we? We are in the ordinary AWE. Great. We are going to go back to the executive suite. and We're going to change outfit. This yellow is getting kind of annoying. I won't be here for long. That's kind of gross. Want to look like a prisoner? I mean, that kind of looks comfy. I'm gonna go back. Here. 
when I paid attention to where I used to be. Now, how do I... Nope, that's the wrong button. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Okay, uh, this one. Weapon armor. That would not. I do like that. Might as well. That doesn't help me with this. Just the boost to zoom. That gives me increased headshot damage. Sure. Neat. What were you? Were you? Annual evaluation of Dilip Hayden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Kolnavar. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dilip? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come see He never visits Casper's Robert. Just tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. Prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find your rabbit in the woods. It is bleeding, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Either. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nose bleed Neo. And when it all went crazy, Neo Nose bleed Neo turned into a dog. Or something like it. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you lost in this, you old fuck? Did you send the bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need you. Well? He might be dead. She might be dead. I think he failed that psyche vag evaluation. Or psyche val. I don't know how to say it. I'm not a psychiatrist. A cool person who says things in short term. Let's see what they have on ordinary. Oof. 
Oh, okay. Here, our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Me. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do all that. Here's where it all went down, I'm assuming. Why are you see? What was that? Holy shit. Oh, okay. That's how it works. Good to know. Like a timed charge. How far does it go? Ah, it works like kind of like a miss. Yeah, I like my new toy. Hold that. Just in case. Slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Well, I mean, there was the dump. Here, let me. Okay, it curved. Does it not go straight through objects? Oh, okay, well, I guess it can. They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. Like a miniature. Not real. I got that right. Well, it depends on how long you spent growing up in that home, I guess. Like, if you lived in it up until you're, like, 30, like, I feel like it would be a little... less so. But anyway, I like, I like this revolver a lot. I really do. It's mine now. You can't have it. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you saw, there's a miracle. Oh, it's got like a gravity one. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know, matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about so that? Well, they are the same okay. person. Yeah, well. Yeah, um. The same person, quote it's unquote. This. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. Well. No. Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You were referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In 
a dream I saw. She, she showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover up. The government knows about it. There you know what? <laughs> agents there. Agents from. I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They. I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. What? Oh, and um, well, I... Okay, now I'm starting to question what's real and what's imagined, but... They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing pretty unbelievable honestly yeah <laughs> that is the thing that's unbelievable oh someone's not happy I'm here oh us all out where are your friends I hope that killed you I really do I hope that took you out could have dodged, but I didn't think about it. Really wanted to get that shot off. Could have figured there would be a fight. Here. Oh wait, you can't be serious. All the way back here. have to start blowing up buildings I will one of you
Come on, throw yourself to me. How are there? Why is there another one of you? That's bullshit. I hit her. Hello, what did I miss? A lot. I have explosives now. Someone thought it was a good idea to give me explosives. Also, uh, you just still a lot of stuff. I can't believe it's making me go through this again when I've already been through this segment. Oh, well, you're not going to stop me from moving on now? No fights? Fine. Also, I can fly now. Don't get to. Oops, did that hurt? I hope so. Hey, it's done. No, you're not done. Okay, that's not gonna work for you. It's okay, I always have a sniper rifle. Or, I guess, the equivalent of one. You let me hit you with that? Really, dude? Ow. You rude ass. We should Ooh, Jesus. I have these weapon mods full. That's bullshit. Also, hello, Jazz. New weapon mods are full. Cool. I don't need you. Need that. Really need that. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. All this low tier shit can go. They really did just bring the entire dump here, didn't they? Hello. Open. Thank. Uh. 
What's up, Doc? Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my you. focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. I got a new hotline, too. You have heard fake news. The board is a okay. The rebel faction descent is former fired. The crisis purge is over. This is not a matter of worry for you. You can hang up now, please. Huh? Yes, indeed. Listening to America overnight, celebrating 29 years. I think we've already listened to that one. We've seen that one. Ordinary. So much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we You're suspicious, not but in other words, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing pretty good. The boy. Dylan Faden. Yes. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. Well, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy had so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. I think boys murder people, my man. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. I, no. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. I don't think you made it work. I want this one. Come on. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces in truth. We have. We what? Okay, cool. I could read all those, but I'm lazy and I don't want. This place is a dump. Is this something I have to worry about yet? I'm assuming not, since I can't even go in. I 
He insane? He's something. I'm assuming so. Goodbye. Ooh, I have ability. Don't you shield it all that much. I kind of want to ground slam though. I don't want that, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Useful? Absolutely. I think I remember trying to go that way and it was just completely locked down. We'll go to Central Executive just to kind of see what's cracking over there. Check on everything. Hey, what's that? protocols for every altered item or object of power with an audio. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stone, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the haste to get him. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. Hey. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Oh, right. There is... You know what? We're gonna take a detour real quick. There's a couple things I gotta find. Ignore my outfit. I'm not a prisoner and you can't prove that I am. I'm the director. I'm your boss. Anyway. Where? Oh, where? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that room. <laughs> we'll just pretend we didn't see that, okay? Where was the jukebox? Is it over here? We need to find a jukebox because this jukebox is funky and we need, and we kind of need funky right now. Hey, where the fuck am I going? Not where I want. It's in Central Exact somewhere. Just don't know exactly where. Oh fuck, where am I? Okay, I can go this way. Did you see that hiss they marched through here? Why the fuck did we put a bullet in that thing's head? I heard it's the director's brother. <laughs> That's funny. Who are you? Ooh. Stuff. The collective unconscious. I will definitely read that. Uh, for sure. And that. Hmm, yes. Who needs copyrighted music anyway? I've never been in here? 
In no way, right? Nope, I've never been in here. How the fuck did that happen? Hi! Have I searched all over this damn place? Where the fuck is this jukebox at? Because I know it's in here. Oh, fuck. That's Alan Wake. Investigation sector, huh? We should check this out. Alan Wake? You no, know, yes, that is a hundred percent Alan Wake. Let's see. Here it is. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was There's a reason I played this game after that game. Presence. Jesse Faden could hear it. A call. It was faint. Reaching for her from a dark place. Faden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star and the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Faden paused to feel it. The force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtly. Trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away. And made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A man desperate to escape. She sensed something else, too. A hunger in the dark. Not unlike the hostile resonance. Waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The Crossover some shit. Gone. It all takes place in the same the universe. Like oh, I don't know if you there count that. On the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator door slid shut with practice bravado. Well. Creepy stuff part two. You know, I was going to go into the jukebox dimension. Yes, that's a real thing. But we might go visit Mr. Wake. Because I can't seem to fucking find it anywhere. All right, let's go find Alan. There's the slide projector. Go fuck yourself. We're going to see Alan Wake. <laughs> or the Grandpa Vikings here again. I don't think so. So, I think this is part of one of the DLCs that you can do. Here, I want to... Here's maneuvers. Yeah, I need to... Oh, this is nice. Oh. Hello? Yeah. Anyone here? That's not how that's not how you Can die in a horror not. game at all. Oh, Mr. Wake. Case file. Ractor supplement. What? Hmm. Working. Probably a loose power core somewhere. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. 
That is interesting, listening to her comment on stuff like this. Also, there's just a ton of case files all over the place. Just scattered. No. Or, you know, get stuck. Hello? Is that a Daft Punk reference? No, it's just... Just a helmet. Just an astronaut's helmet. You know, this game was already kind of a horror game. You didn't have to make it more so. Like, you really didn't. That looks like a butt. Yeah, but unlike Alan Wake, I have superpowers. Okay, well. I... Thank you. But what was that? Okay, well. I'm sure it's fine. We can't find the boy. We're, look we're looking for more than the boy. Oh. Alright. This place is clean. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened. Yeah, no, somebody had a... a fun interaction. Do we know each other? I feel this feels familiar. I can't seem to. I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I have a feeling I'm, Alan doesn't do things. I think things happen to Alan. Away. Alan the man! Long time no see! I think all the last time I saw you, you were literally drowned. Who are you? you <laughs> Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. Thomas Zane. Wait. Oh, it, the diver, you, you look different. That was just a, a role, a character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An old terror like yourself. You were the same person. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. Things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> you need a drink. This would be breaking. A lot of things are breaking. Yeah, yeah, that is right. Because Dr. Darling was the same guy that shot himself in the Night Springs thing. Universe exists Wait. despite him. <laughs> I think the universe just spites him. He's out there. I've seen yeah, 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 yeah. 
Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with it. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. Oh, so that's what those were about. Or that room, anyway. That was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? Yeah, luck, as always. Let's find out, and shall we? Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. D -d -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Did I do it? It's never clear. What next? Oh. Oh. All right. Flashbangs would be nice right now. Yeah. You know what, that, that, that is a good point. The things, well, the things that were happening to wait were very similar to what's happening now with the hiss. Dr. Emil Hartman was desperate. The Federal Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay, violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC, brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose, killed everyone it could, the FBC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound. Oh. A resonance. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless. But weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. I don't remember who Hartman is. Knock, knock. Room gets creepier and creepier every time I go into it. Hello. Oh, this door is just 
closed then. We need to find our boy and get him some therapy. I don't think therapy can fix this. I don't think interdim. Damn and abandoned. Oh yeah. Why did Wake want me to come here. Why? Why did Wake want you to come here? That's a fantastic question. And it's dark, which is not good. Mr. Wake? What the fuck have you gotten me into? Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think... Therapy can fix whatever the fuck is happening to us. No. Ah, uh, missed. Great. Well, if I could aim. There we go. That was a direct hit. These are all way higher level than me. I'm just now realizing. These are level 7. I think I'm like level 4. Oh, but they're all killable. I've killed a couple already. You know what? You get to be my friend. Congratulations. Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. this this is doable i'm swinging a bit above my weight class but not to the point of detriment okay kind of to the point of detriment but not to the point of detriment to where Get yoink, fucker. Already in here. 
got all of them? Good. Thought I was gonna have to kill something again. has gotten a little wild in here yeah a little bit free garbage though thank you faded facet or faucet no facet because faucet has a u in it this darkness is blocking the door so, now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Yo! Light burns oh. away, huh? Makes sense. Yo, that's a good use of mechanics. Yeah. Okay, I don't think this place is accessible. Great. I flew too close to the sun. No. Ow. I lost. I lost my light. Great. <laughs> What's in here? Can I shoot these over? Aha. Oh, wait. That hurts a lot. Yeah, we're not going into whatever the fuck that is. in here Why not? Honestly. Because I, I don't see a reason why not. I don't need that. Right. It's a grenade launcher. That's where we were earlier. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Hold that right there. That's how that works. Okay, I need...
My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, <laughs> incomplete. It's a Wait. Place. Harmon the Doctor from much does not wish to be from Alan story. Wake that was supposed to help it Alan Wake figure out why he has such terrible that to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance by its very nature it abhors comprehension of course my own nature drives me to comprehend all we are opposing forces destined to collide it was Dr. Hart. Yeah, you think so? I think so. We know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer um. to learning the answers to these questions. So he believed Wake the entire time? Which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is and the just said he was psychotic? Or delusional? You are a terrible doctor. And an even worse psychologist. Actually, I think a psychologist is technically a doctor. I don't know. Apparently. Yeah, apparently. Well. Uh, I, I really want this back, actually. <laughs> Oh. Well, then why did you... That was... No? There. Ow! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Do we get to throw a chair at him now? I have the power. Let's hope. I might just throw a light at him. Right in his world views, you know? Saw that. Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber and Agent Fisher was a part of the bureau. I live. No. No. Results are very best. Mostly just conclusive and I live about where that second one is. Screaming behind the closed doors. I could hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors close enough before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're men, whoever they are. I think. Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get the cable out. This time, or I swear to God, I'm... what? Hello? Who's there? I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a. Where's my? The 
tape is still running. the executive path finally no Weird janitor wants us to do work for him. Another mess. Another fine mess. Boy, am I glad I blasted a hole through all this. I still need. So what is, what is that? Do? Those guys don't seem friendly. gonna die. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? Yeah, I was like. Is there anything down here? I didn't see anything.
no cam. Oh, that. got a friend in me friend now now fight <laughs> know what and pierce might be better for them So that agent, I don't think, was part of the bureau. Uh, I don't feel right. Something in this darkness is draining me. Wait. Bloodlight, where the fuck did that go? Is it just gone? No. <laughs> Come here, friend. Jesus. That doesn't do shit for me. Where? Oh, where? Could go back and get that. Can I still access that if I... Were you even gonna let me take it? No, we won't even let Hi. this better okay never mind now what well what is that 
See you over there. Can I? <laughs> Who's the fuck? That's Dr. Hartman. Mr. Hartman, where did you go? Okay, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. God, what the fuck? I <laughs> really fell off. You get to shoot him now. Yay, I have been, and it doesn't do a whole lot. I think I have to light up this whole area in order to find him. Hartman was stretch. <laughs> Ooh, hello.
Uh-oh. 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 No, we're fine. We're fine. Good morning. Ooh. Wonder what this does. Goodbye, you gangly yeah. cock. Don't talk shit. <sighs> Let there be light, bitch. Yeah, that's right. Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Henneman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given this a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Huh. Nope, I can't go in there. Okay, good. I can't chase the damn thing. So I guess... We go down. What are you doing in investigation? Jesus, don't scare me like that, Preston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Honey. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? <laughs> he was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? Photosensitivity? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your I don't have again. any of those, nice. Langston. Never was. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well... Right uh, balls! Break a leg. Oh, uh, why did I say that? Okay. The thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Eagle Limited. That's right. 
This is kind of exciting. Don't be weird about it, Jesse. <laughs> I can't control anything here I can use. Nope. Okay, I don't think this is gonna open for me, so. What about door number this one? Hello? Demons of the night? Anytime I get close to something that has physics when I'm using my levitation powers, it kind of gets sucked into it, even if it's not the thing in focus. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? You're starting to sound crazy. But it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, I don't know why like people are making it so personal. Right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Starling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just gonna talk for I always make it home. Today, <laughs> That's so what I was thinking. Alfred at seven o'clock. I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the fifties to attend school. Been here ever since. God, he just goes. Holy hell! And I thought I talked a lot. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment. She's Alfred's dinner. And nope. Fucking hurt. You know, you figure it'd blow some of this stuff away. Like six grenades. <laughs> Holy fuck. I think he just might be a boss. Or like a mini boss, I guess.
Fuck. I might, I might, I might just hold this specific one off until next. Holy hell. Yeah, no, I didn't want the whole thing. I just wanted that part of it. Right, yeah we're gonna we're gonna hold this one off until next episode because <laughs> uh i'm i'm i've been out of time for a while i just got so into this anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time where we're gonna find out what have what's what's going on with alan wake in this dlc yep, you guys have a good one bye